$50. $50, that's all I got, girl. That is all I got to spend today in Aldi. I'm getting our groceries for the rest of the week, at least until Friday. But first, if this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia, and I am in the midst of cutting my grocery budget in half. To go from spending over $700 a month for groceries to only $400 and using cash and my cash envelopes, I plan on doing it. If you want to learn more about my grocery savings challenge or my money savings challenge, you can um, tap this out right here. I have another channel called Moms and Money where we discuss all of that. But over here on this channel, I post all of my hauls and everything. So like I said, I'm in the midst of cutting my grocery budget in half. Um, I do monthly money savings challenges over on my other channel. And for the month of January, our focus is the grocery budget. I did a two week meal plan. And so I need to buy the things for this, the first week that you see here on the screen. So I need to get everything on there. I have all of my meats, thankfully, but I need to get some vegetables, some fruit, some stuff for my girls' lunches and snacks and stuff like that um, juice and stuff like that really quick two more things um, I'm also eating dairy-free clean keto for the month okay still $100 per person uh, per month for your household that's the but that's the um, budget and the challenge and I'm using cash only and my cash envelopes. If you're interested in um, these cash envelopes, I will be selling these in my shop very soon. You could click the link in the description box to learn more. Let me get into Aldi and only spend my $50. I'm not even taking my credit card or my debit card in, girl, because I'm not even trying to be tempted, uh, especially during that Aldi aisle of shame. So let's get in there and see what they got. Wow, look at this huge pack of Honest um, Kids juice boxes. This is like the same size pack that you get at Costco. Anyway, these are Aldi finds. That means they're here temporarily um, and they're $9.98. I believe that might be cheaper than Costco. Leave a comment down below and let me know though because I think they're 11 something at Costco. Ava loves these crackers snacks and so does my husband. All right, so as I said in the car, I'm going dairy-free clean keto, um, which I'm really excited about. I'm on day two. But this kind of stuff gets really pricey, so I have to really just pick one. What is beef biltong? I have no idea what that is. Carbs is really good. What is it? Biltong is centuries old process of drying and preserving meat. A blend of spices are added, giving biltong its flavorful taste. It's a small bag, that's for sure. Um, then they have Aloha Teriyaki. What's that? Aloha, that's just a brand. Um, you gotta be careful with these um, jerkies because you see how many carbs is in them? Eight. And then the serving size is only one ounce and there's three in this bag. This bag is tiny, girl. I can sit and eat this bag in one day. So I don't buy stuff like that because of that. Even with this teriyaki beef jerky, you think you're eating clean keto, but the carbs will sneak up on you. So I think I'm just gonna get this large bag of salami. Even though I'm going dairy free, I would love to have a piece of cheese with this, but I'm just going to have these on hand. And plus, I think my girls will like them for their lunches as well, so try these. I heard that the low carb bread is back in some Aldi's. I've actually never seen it here at this Aldi. I missed it, but girl, I will be searching every week because I really wanna try it. If you've ever had these donuts, they are the truth, girl. So fresh, so good. These obviously are going to be for my kids and not for me, but they're really good and they're only $1.89. The price for the zucchini is only $0.89. Cents. That is a steal for three. I'm going to be making spaghetti, meat sauce, and I will have zucchinis for myself and my husband if he's keto on that day. <laughs> I know Ava's going to love this soup. <clears throat> she actually will take it for lunch. This cream of broccoli and cheddar. So I'm going to try that. Kind of expensive though. How much is it? Is it one? No, I don't know how much this is. We'll see when I get up there. Oof, it's getting kind of big, girl. Am I gonna make it? I don't know. Looks like they're all out. Has anybody tried their Alfredo sauce? It's not like I can have any for the next 30 days because I'm going dairy free. <laughs> but they're all out. I'm assuming it, it's pretty good. Has anybody tried this gluten free bread here? They have like a large gluten free section of items here. Eva loves these breakfast bars. She likes strawberry, that's her favorite, but I think she would like raspberry too, but let's just stick with what I know. They are $1.35 each. I don't know if I should even tempt myself into going into 
the all the Isle of Shame because I see some finds here that the old me would have just thrown in the cart. But I have to. I have to because I hear you all saying, well, Gia, just walk down there. Don't buy anything, but just walk down there so we can see. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so they have antibacterial Dawn, which is nice, 264. It's this size. I always see the apple, but I've never seen orange um, smell. Hmm. We don't need any, so I'm just going to keep it pushing. Now, I bought the planner, the regular planner from here for $7.99 by Pembroke. And I love it. When I tell you I love it, like I, this is very comparable to the Happy Planner. Um, and it's only $7.99. Now look at this, they have a parent planner. Girl, this would be my third planner if I bought this. I'm not going to though, because I promised myself. But how nice would this be, a parent planner? Look at this. It has your monthly budget here. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm being tempted. A chore chart for your kids. Oh my gosh, what? The week of, the grocery, your grocery list. Wow, this is how it looks for the daily spreads for each month. This is a dateless planner too, so you can start this at any time. You don't need to attend every argument you're invited to this monthly view it's very small boxes though a monthly view and then again a monthly budget list <laughs> y'all this is like making me want to get this so bad i'm really trying not to because i don't think i would use it fully but i really like this monthly budget here and then um the chore chart i love it that's what makes me want to buy it we have um Two different ones. I have this welcome baby a planner for the mom to be. Let's see. It's in here. Important contacts. Now the paper quality is not everything. Oh, look at that when you found out. My reaction. Oh, mom and dad story photos. It's like almost like a scrapbook. Letters to the baby. That is cute. A monthly spread. Oh, your third trimester. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's like you, you track how much water you drank, you're sleeping. You have little boxes here for you to plan. This is really cute. Really, really cute. And then the last cover is this one, the parent planner. Okay. And let's see, is this the same thing? Just different colors. Family emergency plan. It's nice. Insurance information, birthdays and anniversaries. Oh, this one's different. Okay, you have your monthly view. Oh, no, it isn't. I guess it is the same here because you have your monthly budget here. I'm missing a page, let's see. No, oh, this, this paper feels very thick. Huh, chore chart, and then the weekly view. Wow. Girl, I am feeling tempted. I am not gonna lie. This is a strong temptation. I don't even think I have enough to, cause a girl, I'm pushing it with my groceries, but I don't think I have enough to get this. But let me go ahead. I gotta share this on Instagram really quick. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing girl, follow me. But let me share it on Instagram in case anybody's interested. Okay, after going through this a little bit more on Instagram, it has, let me just show you in the back, okay? It has your child, you can put your photo here, babysitter info. It has a huge notes section. Well, not huge, I'd say it's maybe 10 or 15 pages. Um, it has a savings planner, a friends and family contact information, activities, your children's friends, more notes. Like, and then, oh my gosh, it has stickers? Stickers, okay. And it has this protective sheet here. You can slide a piece of paper in there and then a folder. Wow. If you're wondering the size of this planner, it's eight and a half by 11. Um, so it's like a full s s sheet of paper, the size of a sheet of paper. Um, it's, it's much bigger than the Aaron Condren planner. And like this isn't something that you would carry around with. But I just think that this would have been more helpful 
than the other one that I bought. Like, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I'm really tempted, y'all. I just want to let it get it. All right, I'm going to put in my cart and think about it. I am. I'm sorry. I know I failed. I'm sorry, but I got to think about this, girl. Now, this is really cute. I love a toy with a good storage. It's like it has the drawers underneath for all the Legos and like a Lego little tabletop here. It's really nice. Not too big. Many different colors. It's $14.99. Oh, they have LOLs here. There's only a couple left. I don't know how much they are, though, because the sticker isn't here but looks like series three lols all the exercise stuff and they have um freezable the freezable lunch bags here or i don't know how much they are they have price here like a packet on the like box to insulate it put this under the sink caddy that's nice fit under your sink nicely i don't know how much these are oops $8.99. This is how I get caught up at Aldi though. I need to just walk away. Wow, look at this. Only at Aldi iHome shock proof speaker. Cute speaker. That's nice. It's $29.99. And then a visual charging station is $19.99. That's cool because you put all your devices in there like that. Look at this little mini adjustable mandolin. Hmm. This would be nice to have. I don't need it though, just say no. All right, y'all, upon further investigation, I am going to go ahead and put the planner back. Aren't you proud of me? Because the reality is I already have two planners, one for my business and one personal. And the likelihood of me actually filling this planner out every month and using it is very little to none, okay? I think I'm just attracted to it because of the, the fun pages in there. And the reality is, Gia, are you really gonna sit down and use it? You know, cause it, it takes a lot of time for me to even update my family planner and my editorial planner. So I'm not, I know I'm not gonna sit down and um, fill, use this planner, especially since I don't really technically need it cause I still have my life planner and that's what I use for my family and stuff. But, um, and then the other Pembroke planner that I bought, I use for my business. Um, the other planner that I bought, it's just like a regular, planner it's not like a quote-unquote plan parent planner with those budgeting sheets and all that kind of stuff am i gonna make it because i'll be so embarrassed if i have to put something back girl but i'm serious about this i didn't get the planner and i'm like kind of regretting it already but it is what it is all right y'all i'm back home um i'm gonna show you what i got and then after i show you what i got leave a comment down below and let me know if you think i made it all right so let's go through this yeah, and this is our food for the week and for my kids lunches we had all of our meats already so it's just you know supplemental things so um as far as my kids snacks we have some uh, vanilla wafers these are really good they taste just like a regular vanilla wafers i cannot tell the difference and neither can my kids so we use those my girls like to eat those some white cheddar cheez it's some fruit strips now this was pretty expensive it was $4.99 it was the most expensive out of all of the snacks for my kids so those and then Ava and my youngest daughter Ava loves these and then Ava also loves these um we call them breakfast bars with these small soft baked bars and then I bought these peanut butter and toast crackers as a snack for my kids and some pretzel sticks then I also bought some um, raspberries a bell pepper for the spaghetti that we're going to have later on this week some salami as a snack for myself and my kids some um, oven roasted turkey for my girls for their lunches a pineapple bananas um, oranges mandarin oranges zucchini for my zucchini noodles when we have our spaghetti these um, oyster crackers because Ava loves these some pepperoni for my girls for their lunches and also when we make our homemade pizzas some milk these donuts girl who are just tempting me right now i want to eat a donut so bad because i'm so hungry but i'm just saying no i got two organic spinaches now these were two dollars and 49 cents each for let's see 10 ounces all together which is pretty expensive i think my best bet would be to get my organic spinach from um costco or even Publix because Publix has the big tub. I think it's 16 ounces um, for uh, $5.99. But I was there and I needed the spinach for today, so I just got it. I got this slow cooked broccoli and cheddar soup, which was a little expensive. It was $2.50, but I know Ava's gonna love this. She'll also, she can also take this uh, to lunch for lunch. These mints for my girls. We I give them like a little mint before they go to school every single day, so I bought one of some of those. Some 
um, premium marinara sauce. I really hope this is worth it because I think it was like $2.50, which is kind of expensive, and a huge box of spaghetti. All right, so what did you guys think? Was I able to do it? All together, I spent a grand total of $53.77. <laughs> Yeah, so you're probably thinking, but Gia, you said you only bought in $50. I did, I only bought in $50. I took my credit card out of my wallet, okay? Um, and my debit card. Um, but the thing that saved me is I had a $10 bill in my um, wallet. And so I just used, gave her $60. And so I have my change here. Um, I didn't wanna put anything back, I mean, <laughs> I, if I had to put anything back, it probably would have been this soup. And that probably would have put me just a few cents over and I had some change in my purse. But I am proud of myself, girl, because it took everything in me not to get that parent planner. Everything. And I'm proud of myself. I stuck, stuck to my list and I just got things that I know we're going to eat. So um, let me show you what I do as far as um, tracking my grocery budget since I'm doing this challenge where I'm only spending $100 per person per month in my household. For us, it's $400 for the month. Let me show you how I track that. Okay, so let me show you how I track this. So this is part of my uh, meal planning and grocery budget printable that you can purchase for a couple of dollars in my store. The link is in the description box. Um, it's five pages long, but I'm going to be, sh you know, I showed you this. This is the monthly view earlier, and this is the budget tracker. So our monthly budget is $400. I have the date, um, the store that I went to, the amount I spent, and then my ending balance, cash balance. Now, I don't like to keep my cash envelopes stuffed with all $400. It just doesn't make me feel comfortable to walk around with that much cash on hand. So every time I go to the store, I have in my mind how much I wanna to spend today it was $50. So that's why I only put $50 in here. But in my regular wallet, I had an extra $10, which is the only reason why I did not put something back to make me stay under $50. So I have my change in here. And the reason why I really like these cash envelopes, that first of all, they're plastic, they're very sturdy, um, and you can put your coins in here without it being flimsy or breaking like the some of the paper cash envelopes anyway so i know that i have 346 dollars and 23 cents left for the rest of the month and so that lets me know exactly how much money i can put in my cash envelope for my next trip which will probably be to costco and i'm limiting myself to 100 dollars only for costco for the entire month i only meal planned for two weeks and I'm, i'll you know, we'll see how these two weeks go and then I will meal plan for the other two weeks and just, you know, I just plan on staying on track for the whole entire month. Now the weekly meal planner, I kind of just do for myself for like breakfast and lunch. Since I work from home, um, I'm at home all day long, so I like to think about what I'm gonna have for breakfast and what I'm gonna have for lunch. And then I have my current inventory, which, it, which is what is in my freezer that I need to cook up for this month uh, before I go grocery shopping. So that is how I track my you know, grocery budget. So that's it, my friends. I think I did pretty well, considering that I used to just throw things in my um, cart Sorry, <laughs> my bacon's ready. Considering that I used to just throw things in my cart when I you know, would go grocery shopping and not really pay attention to what's in my pantry or what my kids are actually eating, like I'm very conscious, especially with using cash. It's been so long since I used cash envelopes, probably at least years. Um, probably back in 2013, we used cash envelopes for a little bit, so it's been a while. And um, I'm really excited about this journey. So leave a comment down below and let me know, are you doing um, this grocery savings challenge with me this month? If you are, make sure you go subscribe to Moms and Money on that channel. I'm gonna be discussing in detail budgeting, how to budget, how much money we're gonna be saving from this challenge, and you know, if I actually, you know, pass <laughs> myself, if I actually am successful with the challenge myself. Um, but yeah, and I'll share all the hauls and everything, all my shopping on um, marriage and motherhood this channel right here but what do you how much do you guys usually spend on groceries anyway leave a comment down below and let me know thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all of it down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye